Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Data Warehouse and Informatica Power Center Interview Questions Part 3. So let's start today's first question. So first question is what are the lookup and fact tables? A lookup, also called as a dimension table, contains information about the entities. In general, the dimensions and the objects are derived from lookup tables. On other hand, a fact table contains the statistical information about the transactions. So fact table is always associated with the transaction and the lookup table contains kind of reference data. What is designer? Of course, we use the designer to develop the mappings and for creation other things so what is the definition of the designer a designer is a business object product that is intended to develop the universes this universe is the semantic layer of the database structure that isolates from technical issues so we, the developers can develop the the what are the based on the business requirement the technical issues will be taken care by the other system what are the pitfalls of the data warehouse the question can be asked in other words like the what are the disadvantages of the data warehouse so pitfalls and disadvantages are the same for the data warehouse and those are the first pitfall is limited value of data so what does it mean it means the data we can you only handle the historical data in the data warehouse the online or the ongoing current data is not involved during the analysis using the data warehouse data warehouse solution complicate business processes so, so the data warehouse has the compli complicated business processes the solution may be have means so what are the solution provided by the data warehouse have the long learning curve so it requires a more time to learn the data warehouse solutions the cost of cleaning capturing and deriving data is more in the data warehouse so these are the pitfalls of the data warehouse how do you handle a large data set this is kind of tricky question might be asked so the answer would be by using bulk utility mode at the session level and if possible by disabling the constraints after the definitely consulting with the dba so using the bulk mode utility it means nothing but the we are not writing to the rollback segment so all the data will be in the memory so the loading is faster however the pitfall of this solution is that the recovery is not possible. So, in order to handle la large data, we can make uh, we can use the bulk utility mode and we can disable the constraint. What are the limitations of handling long data types? Suppose we have the data type which is like more than four thousand. What will happen? So there is a limitation when the length of data type, for example, a varchar to four thousand goes beyond 4000 informatica makes a this as varchar to 2000 what are the types of olap the first type is rational olap users see their data organized in a cubes and dimensions but the data is really stored in rdmms the performance is slow for the rational olap Multidimensional OLAP, also called as M OLAP, users see the data organized in cubes and the dimensions, but the data is really stored in MDBMS. The query performance is fast. The next one is hybrid OLAP. It is combination of R OLAP and H OLAP. For example, HOLOS, H O L O. In this one will find the data queries on the aggregated data as well as detailed data the next question might be asked in the interviews what is the difference between data mart and data warehouse 
we know that the answer is very simple for this question data mart is used on the business division or the department level however the data warehouse is used at enterprise level what is metadata of course we know that it is simple definition metadata is nothing but the data about data so what is actually metadata with respect to data warehouse or the informatica data about data is nothing but the metadata which contains the location and the description of data warehouse system components for example name definitions and end user views etc how does the recovery mode works in informatica this is interesting question in case of load failure an entry is made in obp opb underscore serv underscore entry table from where the extent of loading can be determined let's have a look on the next question what is aggregate awareness ah this is a very generic question aggregate awareness is a feature of designer that makes use of aggregate tables in a database these are tables that contains pre calculated data the purpose of this table is to enhance the performance of sql transactions they are thus used to speed up the execution of queries so in order to achieve the performance of the execution of queries we go with the aggregate awareness and it is nothing but the pre calculated data what are the differences between oltp and olap it is very generic questions and most of the time it is asked in the interviews so let's have a look on the oltp uh what are the features which will make difference from the olap so oltp is focused on the day to day transaction data stability it is dynamic it is highly normalized and accesses access frequency is high so if the access frequency data access frequency is high we have to go with the oltp with the olap focus is on future prediction and decisions static until refresh so when you reload the data demor demoralized and replicated data and the access is medium to low when should you use the star schema and the snowflake schema a star schema is a simplest data warehouse schema however the snowflake schema is similar to the star schema but it is more normalized it normalizes dimension table to save the data data store space it can be used to represent hierarchies of the information what are the parameters can be tweaked to get the better performance from a session so we know that in the informatica we have the session so how can you achieve a better performance while running the session we can achieve the better performance by tdm uh, by twiddling the tdm shared memory or index cache memory also we can twiddle the data cache memory or by doing the indexing on the data we can also use the persistence cache or in case commit interval so these are the parameters we can use to by uh, to pop, uh, to have the better performance for a session what are the benefits of the data warehouse the very first benefit is immediate information delivery data integration from across even outside the organization future vision of the historical trends tools for the looking data in a new ways enhanced customer service so these are the benefits we can get from the data warehouse the next question is why we are going for surrogate keys very interesting question data uh, the reasons why we go for the surrogate keys actually the data tables in various source system may use different keys for the same entity yes that is possible keys may change or be reused in the source data systems so duplicate keys might be possible if you don't use the surrogate keys 
changes in the organizational structure may move the keys in the hierarchy so because of all these reasons we have to go for the surrogate key which will be unique across doesn't matter whether the, you change the organizational structure or if you change any uh, duplicate uh, key changes when is more convenient to use a join either at the database level or in the informatica of course definitely at the database level at the source qualified query itself rather than using joiner transformation so it is always preferable to have the join at the database level how do you measure session performance by checking a collect performance data checkbox we can measure the session performance what is dimensional table it contains the data used to reference data stored into the fact table it has fewer rows it is having the primary character data it has only one primary key that is dimensional key and we can update the data from the dimension table it is updatable data the next and the last question from this session is what is database connection a data uh, a database connection is a set of parameters that provides access to an rdbms these parameters include system information such as data account user identification and the path to the database designer provides three types of connection such as secure shared and the personal i hope these questions will help you for your interview and if you have any questions about the informatica or the informatic mdm you can mention in the video below thanks for watching my videos you can subscribe my channel as well thank you have a nice time